Hi, this is Ed Bear, and this video is on my second generation Altoids 10 preparedness kit, or survival kit if you will. Um, this is what's left of my first kit. Uh, I did uh, in the late 90s. In fact, I carried this uh, through security a number of times uh, after 9-11 when security was really tight and they were pulling random people out. This was a, uh, a hard candy tin and uh, I, I've lost the top and I had it sealed with duck, black duct tape and I'd push the bottom out and the top to get more space and then I didn't necessarily have to close it all the way which also gave me more space but the uh, round shape proved to be a real pain in the neck and uh, I've pirated many of the things in here from my latest uh, tin but you can still see that there's things like antiseptic uh, wipe there was a uh, a tea bag in there. I waterproof some matches and there's a lure and it's just all kind of crummy looking now. Uh, these were a different color. Apparently uh, water purification tablets can turn color over time. And I have one of these little sparky things and a wire saw whatnot. So um, let's take a look at the next generation here which may be the best Altoids 10 kit ever. And the reason I say that is because this one's from a chocolate Altoids 10 and as we know chocolate makes everything better. One of the things that I decided here was that I was not going to try to make this into a survival tin. This is more of a preparedness tin in uh, a, an urban area. So I didn't put things like fishing line and lures and whatnot. So I'm going to open it up here. This is just extra security. Keep it closed. And I'm going to take everything out. I've taped a few things to the lid of the tin. At the top there is a straight edged razor followed by a needle uh, which is threaded already, a button and a safety pin. Now before we get too far I just want to say that this preparedness tin is designed to be used in conjunction with my keychain. Certain elements are missing from the tin that are on here such as my light and my whistle and my ferrous rod and uh, magnesium rod and striker. Moving on to the next item in the tin is a piece of waterproof paper and a pencil. Uh, I'm not really sure that I need waterproof paper uh, since I'm using a pencil and not a pen uh, but I figure it couldn't hurt and this has proven to be one of the items that I have used the most. Now this pencil for those of you who are young you won't know where where it comes from. Uh, those folks who are older these pencils used to be everywhere and now it's really difficult to find them. I actually found a few on eBay these pencils used to be included in magazines. It used to be in the old days if you buy a magazine like Time or Life or whatever that not only would they have a uh, card that you could fill out and put in the mail but they included that little pencil in the lining of the paper of the postcard or envelope and so it gave you everything that you needed to uh, subscribe because back in those days there was no internet. Alright, just stop. First item here is a Leatherman Micra. I originally started out with a Swiss Army knife, one of those little ones, but found that the thing I used most on it was the scissors, and these scissors are far more substantial, and I just found the ones on the, the pocket Leatherman just uh, not up to the task. Uh, this does include a knife blade and other things on there, but it's mainly the scissors. Next on the list is a mini Bic lighter. I figure why fool around? In general, this is the best tool out there, so why not use it? I've removed the child uh, proof protection there, and I've rolled it in duct tape. Duct tape was one of the things that I used a lot on my original kit, and so there's plenty on here as well. Along with being able to start fire just about anywhere, I have two birthday candles. These are those gag candles that just won't go out. I thought I was so clever to include them, 
to include them on my kit until I saw that the uh, Russian guy had uh, done a review on these as well for fire starting. All right, next we have assorted medicines. I have a couple of tablets of aspirin, and aspirin is a miracle drug. I mean, it can be used for pain, swelling, uh, fever, as well as thinning the blood. Uh, I have a, a green tablet there for, for gas, for your stomach, and then two acid blockers. Uh, a lot of times, uh, those are the kind of things that bother you, and it's just handy to have them. Those were some of the things that I used most in my original tin. Um, next, we have the famous P38 military can opener. And considering how little space it takes, it's just a, an amazing little tool. Allowing yourself to be able to open a can of food in an emergency situation is a wonderful thing. Both of these are actually paper clips, and uh, there's so many uses for the standard paper clip, and I really like this new design, so I decided to toss one in there, both of which take up very little uh, space at all. One thing that I did have in with my medicines, my Band-Aid, my medicines, was this uh, first aid ointment, and I had one in my original kit too, but it seems to have leaked in this kit. So I may uh, replace it or I may just delete it altogether. Next are the famous tweezers that everyone carries around and they, they work wonderfully. And I usually jam some stuff in the middle so they don't take up too much space. We've got a button compass and it's amazing but about once a year because I travel so much I find myself in a place where I can't see the sun and I can't tell which direction it is and I just have to turn right or left and just knowing if it's north, south, east or west tells me which way I need to turn. So I find a compass an invaluable tool. I couldn't resist this one. This is a handcuff key. I have no idea whether it really works or not. I'm going to have to check with some of my buddies in law enforcement. But uh, considering how little space it is and how cool it is, I just had to include it. I've got a Q-tip, which has a number of uses. <coughs> and this next one is a toilet paper tablet. And uh, you just put a little bit of water and it expands and it becomes actually a, a washcloth or a a sanitary cloth that you could use to clean yourself up. It's an amazing thing and uh, I found it by watching a video that Canadian Prepper did. So thank you very much Canadian Prepper for that. These things are wonderful and I'll be doing a video on that as well. Finally we get down to water. I've got a bag here to hold water. I've got two tablets that uh, act within 30 minutes, do a liter each. I've got a straw. Since I was taking up the space with the straw, I put a wire tie in there. And finally, one of my very favorite survival tools of all time is the sponge. This sponge, as you can see, is compressed. And so it doesn't take up that much space, although it is, it is, it is uh, sizable. It's, it, so it's, it's not something you can ignore. It definitely takes up some space. But considering how big it gets when you're using it, it's, it's a good space saver. And what you can do is you can use this to gather water from uh, plants and grasses, especially in the morning when there's lots of dew. If you had a car breakdown, you could run this over the uh, body of the car in the morning while it's still covered with dew or after a rain or get the water from even a puddle. And it's just a very effective way to get water. Um, and so I'll be doing a video on that as well. The, the problem is that no matter what you do, you find that you want to put more things in there. And not any one kit is the perfect solution for what you want to do. In my case, I travel on airplanes a lot. So I can't bring this kit. I can't bring a kit that has a little uh, knife and, and a razor blade. I can't do that. So I finally come up with the answer for the perfect kit, and that is 
a different kit for different needs. So I'll be doing a kit that I can bring on a plane. I'll be doing a kit that is more like a uh, camping backpack survival kit. And I'll probably do one that's based around computers because that's what I do for a living. I want to thank you very much. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel. Take care.